the flag would always be brought outside from inside and attached here and he would expect an audience, whoever was here, quietly without talking. And while he was raising the flag, perhaps he was thinking to himself, what a privilege it is to raise the American flag whenever he wanted to, just to pay tribute to the fact that he was a citizen of this great country. He had spent three years touring for the USO, often in very dangerous situations. Heifetz was giving a concert in a field and they were bombed. They had to take cover. So he was in the thick of it. That must have had an impact, playing for all of these young men in hospitals. Uh, Heifetz played his best under these circumstances. There was this look on his face that's just indescribable. Well, fellas, for the many thousands of you who've asked for a certain song and a certain great violinist, command performance sends you the Ave Maria and Yasha Heifetz. As we went along, I began to realize that he never played less than his very best. And there'd be 20, 30 dirty soldiers coming in from the front somewhere. He was Heifetz, and he was going to play like Heifetz no matter what. And I thought to myself, oh boy, that's something to learn. One day, he told me there was a supposed to be pouring rain that was predicted the afternoon when Mr. Heifetz was to perform. He was told that nobody was planning to come. He said that, you know, when I am scheduled to play, unless I'm really, really deathly ill, I will play. So when the time came, he played, and to his greatest surprise, there was only one one soldier sitting way in the back, holding an umbrella. And he told me later that that was one of his greatest, best performance ever. Just as it is difficult for a fellow to be a hero in his own hometown, so perhaps it takes a naturalized American like myself to fully realize what a very great country this is.